I'm spilling. Mom! Hey guys, it's Jillian, and today we are going to try something I saw on TikTok. Um, I can't find the video that I saw, but it was really cool. They painted their little light switch cover. I've already done a few. As you can see, they're off. Um, but this is an example. This one I did, and you gotta be very careful around these because, like, don't touch that with your wet hands or things. You don't want to get electrocuted. First step is find a light switch. Make sure you get your parents' permission, and you just use a screwdriver. We have, like, this screwdriver, and you... Oh, what kind of screwdriver is that? A flat one. A flat head, yeah. Um, and then you just unscrew all these little screws right here. And you could do these on um, like light switches with three light switches in it, or like the one I showed you over there that was one. So you take off the screws. You don't want to lose the screws, hang on to those. And then, if you can't take it off, mine had a little like space right here, so I just put my screwdriver under there, and it came off. You have to do it gently so you don't tear off all the paint from the wall. Okay, and that looks disgusting, but we don't talk about that. Yes. So I'm also making a TikTok about this, me painting that and all that stuff. So go check out my TikTok, follow me, like all my videos, and um, yeah. <laughs> so now we have our little cover, and I use some paper because it could get messy. We just have some wrapping paper from one of our videos, and I cut it all up and so it's a little place to work. And I'm using acrylic paints, and I like to mix them um, like on a plate, but I also have an idea that you guys can try if it works out for me. And we also have some brushes, paint brushes. Like I said, this could get messy, so you wanna put on an apron. I, I think I made this when I was younger, and I like sewed this thingy on it. I don't know why. So that's the story behind that. I made this pretty much. And then you tie it in back. Okay, and we're ready. <laughs> so now that we are ready, we have to get our paints ready. So I was thinking of doing, I've seen it on TikTok again, where they like take paints and they like blob it all around and then they like swarm it like that. So I want to see if it works on this and if it does, you guys can try it. If it doesn't, then don't do it. It's okay, because we could probably paint over it if it doesn't work. If you're not going to do that, you should probably put your paints on the plate if you're doing like some kind of design, and then you just brush it and paint on there. So, now we are going to pick out our paint colors. You can always mix colors. Ew, that sound. Okay, blue. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, so now we have our colors. I'm using like a purple and this teal. I'm just gonna like squirt a bunch on it. Oops. Well, they do like a little swirly thing, oh. but that's not working. Cause I think you're supposed to mix it with water or something. Okay, whoa. That was a fail, so don't try that unless you're doing it the correct way. Way, and actually watch a video or something. So we're just using this brush. Boop. Whoa! Tie dye. Wow, that's kind of looking cool. That's looking cool up in here. <laughs> Me tries to be cool. Nobody laughs. Hardy har har. <laughs> And you want to get all the sides as well. Did I not? Oh. You did not. Uh, uh. Top. Boop, boop. Toppy, toppy, top. There we go. Yeah. Oh, you could do like little stuff. Okay, guys. You did mess up. So this, sometimes, yeah, there is good mess ups. And this was one of them. Because I kind of yeah, like, like that. it. That's looking cool. It is. That's looking snazzy. Let it dry. Uh, before you put any more things on it and stuff. But I'm thinking of what else I could do. So now we are mixing paints while that kind of let it dry. Ooh, and I want it to harden like that. I'm just taking out all the stuff in the holes where the yeah, screws go. Point. Now what I'm going to do, I thought of something, because I like with pink with that. 
I might actually want to put that in my bathroom. To make pink, we don't have much pink. So what I like to do when I mix colors is I do like a little bit of the two colors that make it. Not much white like left. Like that. And then I also put this tiny bit of the color we have of it. Like since I want to make pink, I'm putting a tiny bit of pink. Oh, I see. See how I made like a better pink with red, white, and pink? Boom. Look at that beauty. Okay, anyways. <gasps> I got it on the table. If you do, then you just have to wipe it off quickly. Immediately. Before it dries. Now that this is finished and we have our paints mixed, I'm going to take a brush and dip it in my pink that I had. I'm just going to draw on like little like, little like crosses and things. Like little kind of like stars. And just like little dots maybe, like that. And we're just gonna do that throughout the whole entire thing. So I'm gonna put like a few little like, cute little, little stars kind of. And I did um, some other ones, you guys, so, and they're really fun to do, so. Try out different designs, different painting techniques. You can try them out on here. Boop, look really ba -da. Neat. Oop. And when I do dots, I like to have like a big one and a small one, not just like all the same size, you know? Jillian's trying to do a TikTok video at and a YouTube video at the same time. So now you wait for these to dry. I did a few others, so if you want to do more while you wait for them to dry. So here's the first one I made, actually. This is my first one I made. It's like an ombre from blue to purple to pink. And then I also put some little white speckles on it everywhere. And then it kind of like beachy vibes, like yellow sand and some blue and pink, because there's definitely pink on the beach. And so these are the ones I did so far. And then you just saw my other one. This one's like galaxy kind of. Yeah. Um, but I like them and we're just gonna wait for them to dry. I'm gonna fix up some of these pink spots. So that was the painting, now we have to let it dry, and we'll show you the finished product up in my room. See you then. Okay guys, as you can see, I have my door with the face on it. Yeah. Um, Another TikTok. No. Okay, so, um, I'm going to put this one here. It really jazzes up a plain wall, doesn't it? Yeah. It's really easy and fun idea. You know? I guess you could also paint the screws. We didn't do that. We did it, but it looks good on this one because it just it looks has like white one of the anyway. Whites. It just look, looks like one of the white specks. Yeah. So it's okay. But if you guys want to, you can paint the screws too. Ah! I'm spelling. Mom! <laughs> nice blue tongue. So here's the finished product of cover number one. I think it looks really good and I think it just like makes the wall look good. I don't know. I like it though. It like looks look good. at it. Yeah. See, it really stands out. You have that there and your painted, <laughs> and your painted thing there. What happened? It it's not fitting. Maybe that one went to a different one. Kind of got jammed because there's like paint in here. So if it is, just like you gotta just cut Yeah, so don't off. really paint the inside. So hopefully it works now. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so there's this finished product. I chipped a little, but I mean, I guess you could fix it. But I don't think it really matters. Need some help there, sissy? I'm your daughter, why do you call me sissy? And I have to finish on my TikTok. So cute. Oh, I had a screwdriver in my hand. Okay guys, so that was the DIY like light switch cover painting thing. I don't really know what to call it, but um, they look super cute and I really recommend it. As you can see, one's over there and there's a few in my bathroom. Um, they're super easy and fun to do and uh, I hope you guys try it. And also check out my TikTok to see the video I made on there about my DIY light switch covers. See you guys next time, bye.